What does it feel like for me when a satellite performs successfully in orbit? Do you have 10 minutes? We're here in the clean room at Black Sky, getting our second Gen 3 satellite ready for launch. We started with our Gen 2 satellites. So you can see over here's much smaller version of what we're getting ready for. Gen 2 to Gen 3 process was very much an evolution. What makes this generation of satellite different is we centered on the key requirement of how to get the highest resolution imagery. And from there, we took a payload design and built a bus that would support that performance capability. We made sure we could take all the images a customer wanted in a region, kept the agility, improved the processing speed, improved our ability to get the data down to the customer, all within mind, how do we get them the best resolution image as quickly as possible so that they can act on it. The Gen 3 satellite is a very high resolution telescope in space and it takes a lot of images of Earth's surface in order to assess insights for our customers all over the Earth. Setting a satellite up for launch is a long process. It takes three or four weeks of testing. We're basically making sure that as we set up each part of the satellite, we test it as we go so that we don't have to go back and pull the satellite back apart. It's all designed to be built in one continuous process and to be tested as it goes. And then final checks at the end before we get it ready for environmental testing. The environmental testing checks to make sure that it's going to survive its trip to space on the rocket. We've built a really incredible capability to design, build, and reliably produce satellites and get them to space, and that's an incredible accomplishment. But what we've built around that is an equally impressive accomplishment. We have a fully automated command and control system. We have image processing that takes every image from space, immediately creates it, quality checks it, and is putting it in the hands of our customers. And then we have analytics that are helping our customers discern that so they can focus on the speed of what information they need next in an ongoing information cycle. And to all operators, LDL mission code, we are proceeding now with the go-no-go -no -go sequence stage. I love launch. It is this awesome program milestone for the team. There's a huge amount of energy around it. There's a huge amount of excitement. I, um, I am very nervous until I hear it make contact with us, uh, which is, is crazy to think about, but it's, it's something we've invested so much in. I still get excited at each one, uh, like it's the first launch. Like this has never happened before and I've never talked to a Gen 3, uh, which is crazy.
The process of a satellite operating on orbit is not instantaneous, and that's sort of what makes it special. If the rocket goes up successfully, everyone cheers, but I'm still waiting nervously. You wait until the satellite turns on and communicates with the ground station for the first time. Everyone cheers. I'm still not relaxed. Two to three days later, we've turned on our payload for the first time. We've taken our first image. The image comes down. I'm holding my breath. When the image comes in and it's providing the information that we expected, with the clarity that we expected, that's when the weight comes off the shoulders, the knot in the stomach releases, a little tear in the eye. It's amazing, amazing feeling. Let's hope successful. Battery gypsum confirmed. Stage two. Mission Propulsion control there with confirmation of a successful hot swap. We are now six minutes and 48 seconds into the mission and traveling at 15,700 kilometers per hour. We aim for data to flow as quickly as possible after launch. We work to make contact with the satellite at the absolute earliest opportunity, and we want to get faster. So we look for every avenue within the process to accelerate it, automate it, and improve it so that we can turn these on as quickly as possible after launch. Traditional satellite operators will launch satellite and not get data from it for weeks or even months. On our very first satellite, we got our first imagery down in about 24 hours, which was groundbreaking and unheard of. The engineering breakthroughs that have enabled Black Sky in particular to deliver near real-time intelligence primarily revolve around being able to collect high-quality data, rapidly process it, and provide those insights. So AI and machine learning help us process all the data that we get, deliver insights to our customers as rapidly as possible. The new satellite works seamlessly with the Spectra platform. It was built with it in mind. So it exists as, as part of the constellation in the same way our Gen 2 satellites did. And that means you can use it immediately, uh, which is, is crazy. Spectra, to me, is really a hub that makes data much more actionable and tactile for a user. There was an industrial accident in the port of Beirut in August of 2020. And the way that we found out about that accident was not from the news or social media. In fact, our Spectra platform saw seismic activity. The system recognized that that's something very different that should go on and it immediately tasked an image at the first opportunity. So we had some of the first imagery and information to help all the aid workers and people trying to kind of discern how to respond to that incident there. And, and at that point, you really saw the vision come to life that you can do this type of monitoring and it can occur open loop and really be useful and anticipate the needs of its users. It means so much to this team to see every single one of those satellites go on orbit. We put a lot of care, we put a lot of drive into each, each piece. But to the Constellation, it's more capability, it's more resiliency, uh, it's, it's more ways we can add features for customers' requests online faster while making that a, a transparent experience for them. Every element of it is a node in the network. The ground, the satellites, the resiliency is in the network as a whole, um, just like the resiliency is in the team as a whole. It takes all of us, and it takes all of us to get on the rocket, it takes all of us to get to launch, it takes all of us to operate the satellites. You need each piece, and each piece makes it stronger.